for those of y'all who don't know what's going on, pretty much Mo had posted a little video on his channel that I didn't agree with. You know, he was supposed to come here and come get his bags, but he had the camera out as he always does. And I feel like he always have the camera out no matter what the situation is. And he wanted to have a conversation with my daughter, but he had the camera out. So I'm like, you know, me feeling the way I'm feeling is like, why do I have the camera out? Why is everything content based? If it was really genuine, it would be no camera and you could have a conversation with her. As long as you want to have a conversation, you could stay as long as you want, spend time with her, talk to her. But you're sitting here having an adult kind of conversation, you know, making her cry and making her feel, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it was in his place to have that type of conversation with her and make her cry for you to, you know, is it another thing when we're doing little pranks and stuff on her and stuff, but when it comes to real life situations and you know, her real feelings and, you know, what's going on in her life. It's like, don't do that. Why are you doing that? Why are you putting her online like that with her, like, the way she feels? I don't know. I'm, I'm just not jacking that. I'm not jacking that. Like, I feel like, like I said, he should have just came in. And if he really wanted to have a conversation, there should be no cameras though. That's just how I'm feeling. And then... I'm looking at the comments and y'all bashing me and y'all making me feel bad but it's like y'all have to understand as a mother the way I react is because he got a camera on he making my daughter cry and like you think that I would react that way if he didn't have a camera on? No, I wouldn't have reacted that way so but I have been reading the comments and my DMs and stuff and everybody making it seem like I'm a bad mom or I'm a bad person because of the way I reacted I don't feel like I am but in another way it's like it does make me feel a little bit bad and I feel like maybe I could have reacted a little bit differently because I don't know like at the end of the day she was still there so I shouldn't have like had that type of attitude in front of her but then again it's like you got a camera on and it's my daughter's real life you know like don't don't do that so it's like but it does make me feel a little bit bad so I feel like we should have a conversation in person because I don't feel like we should be like beefing and clashing and stuff like that. Like regardless if we're together or not, we shouldn't be beefing and stuff. And I would never keep him away out of their life. Like if you really want to be here and it's genuine and it's not content based, he could definitely be in our life. He could see them whenever he wants. He could take them wherever he wants. Like I don't, I'm not a bitter person. I'm not gonna, just because he's doing whatever he's doing, I'm not gonna, cut him out of my children's life you know so don't make it seem like i'm here and i'm reacting that way because i'm being bitter it's not that like i said there should be no cameras out when when shit is happening in my life like i feel like certain things don't need a camera but i don't know y'all not seeing it that way y'all seeing it as i'm being bitter or whatever the case is but that's not that's not what it is at all because like i said he could see them he could be around them, he could take them anywhere. And it should be vice versa with his son as well. Like I should be able to still see Papa and you know, it's like, it's, it's real deep because like we got children involved. So we can't, like you can't be moving like better and like, you know, childish, you know, we can be adults. And I feel like right now is the time to have a conversation because I did see things from the other perspective and how he may have felt when I was reacting the way I reacted, but I don't think he see things from my perspective why I reacted that way, you know? He doesn't, I don't think he sees things from my perspective. It's only about him, you know? So, I don't know. I texted him. My daughter was feeling sad. After he left, my daughter um, was really sad and stuff. And, you know, I felt bad, but like, I don't feel like I was ready to have that type of conversation with her. So for him to, you know, do that it's like that kind of bothered me too because like why are you having that type of conversation so I heard being sad and then seeing her being sad and then seeing all the DMs and the comments and I'm like damn maybe I should like start seeing things differently maybe I did react a little bit 
overreact maybe I did overreact a little bit so I I texted him because of all of that my daughter being sad and everything I texted him at like 5 in the morning I'm like you know what did I say let me see I said are you free to have a conversation in person if not I get it wish you the best though that's what I said at 5 in the morning because I'm like all of my friends now because it's like damn this is like it's getting deep now like he's telling the kids and stuff like that so now I'm like you know um I texted him just so we can have a conversation we don't have to and on a bad note like that's we're not we're not kids we've been together all this time and it's just it's a lot so i'm he finally texted back it's like around six he texted back around six he's at the gym and he's going to we could have a conversation like we have a conversation um after the gym so he's gonna stop by and since he wants to do everything with the camera, we're going to have the camera out. But I'm not going to show him that the camera's on. I'm actually going to hide it so y'all can see how this conversation really goes. And hopefully it goes okay. This is not for us to get back together at all. This is just for us to have an adult conversation. So stay tuned. Let's see what he says. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't end on a bad note. And... Good luck to me. Yeah, so he just rang the bell and I really hope he don't see this camera because I really don't want him to know that I'm recording. So he about to knock on the door soon. Hopefully this conversation goes good. feel like I wanted to have a conversation with you because of what happened yesterday, you know, when you came. The kids are here? Yeah. You want to see them? Yeah. The way Vonnie was yesterday, I don't want to. I don't want to see me. The way niggas was moving yesterday, the way you took her from me, and the way she was crying, I had to witness that. And you thinking I'm doing that shit for content. Like that. Like, if it nah, wasn't, I don't want to pull in that situation again, respect. If it wasn't for content, respectfully, you wouldn't have had the camera. What you mean for like like This is like this is how I'm feeling, right? With the situation that happened, right? If you would have came, yeah, we can't have this conversation over the phone. I if, had to come in. Um, yeah. If you would have came, I'm saying, but like, the, no, because your energy yesterday was different. So I don't understand, like. Can we? Can I speak or no? No, I'm, I'm asking you a question, like the the. the What's going on? Just yesterday, you wanted me out the crib in five minutes. Now you want to invite me to the crib and have a conversation and in person. Like, but do you see how you don't have a camera out now? I don't care about that, bro. Because because okay, niggas because niggas right? see, I I respectfully I had the camera up because at the end of the day, bro, Avani's a part of my life. You feel me? So the same way I treat my son, I treat your kids. So if I'ma had a camera up around my son, I, I respectfully I want to look back at footage, and it's people that that that, that fuck with me that fuck with your kids. That's they want to see Avani. They want to see Avani, okay. and everybody says you're like a bozo. I don't even read comments, and that's probably why the fuck you got me here now, bro. It's so, because you probably was reading the comments on YouTube, and you see that you're like a fucking moron. Bro, you bro. kept a step farther away from her daughter. For one, from your from, like from his daughter. All right, I hear, I understand. No, you talking? You want to keep talking? No, shit like, no, 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 because I speak at all. It's nothing to, for you to talk about, bro. Yes, it is because I came here. I I want you to come here so we can have a conversation. But we could have had this combo over the phone. You made me feel uncomfortable in the shit that I paid bills and in the shit that I got and the shit that what well, we got. You feel me? And the you reason why I'm out the crib, the reason you know we got we got the crib together. And the reason why I decided to leave this crib is because you're the female, you the one with the kids. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, cool, and I can jump right back tomorrow and get a crib. Cool. I can get a fucking crib next door if I really wanted to. You feel me? Okay. But respectfully, I say I, I was the bigger man in the situation. 
Bro, you could talk, bro. We could have had this conversation over the phone, bro, because I don't even feel comfortable being in this shit, bro. Respectfully, bro. Gang shit, I don't even feel comfortable. Some shit that I used to call home, I don't feel comfortable in. You want to do all this bird shit on, 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 on the internet? Fuck me shit. Like, come on, bro. You're calm, bro. But now niggas, but see, they, they don't see you behind. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't put up a, a front on this camera shit. You put up a front for YouTube, bro. It's fuck me and all this other shit, bro. On Instagram, I see your shit. Fuck me on Instagram and on YouTube. You want to prank me. Like, you getting fucked. You want to do all this other clown shit for your content. But then behind the scenes, I don't see no fucking camera up. I don't see you on Instagram. I don't see none of that, bro. The phone, I got you. Everything, bro. But it's cool. I'm not no bit ass nigga. Yo, give me the phone. Let me take back this. None of that, bro. None of that. The monitors, I said you can have all of that shit. You're Gangster. I really see. got a. Nah, I don't care about you speaking, bro. I came how in so I took my how shit. Cuz, bro, it's my way now, bro. It's my way. You had your way yesterday. It's my shit, bro. Right. Respectfully. You did some bird ass shit. And you want me to sit here and have a conversation with you, bro? When you did that shit so in front of your daughter, I would have never done that in front of Papa. So why did you come there? Because I, I didn't want to come. I get the fuck out of here now. I didn't know I'm going to come here. So am I going to be able to speak? Or and, it's talk and, 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 and it's crazy. And it's crazy. Bro. All right, fine. Say what you got to say, bro. Thank you. So, like I was saying, yesterday when you came, you had a camera out. You took, you made it your business to say whatever you said to Lavani and make her cry on camera. Yo, give me a second. Hey, bro. I'm like, I'm about to get out in like five minutes, bro. I ain't say that. What you saying? Yeah, you're being disrespectful, bro. Oh, now I'm being disrespectful. Look how the fuck you was acting yesterday. I'm trying to talk to you, and if this is what you want, if this is the energy you want to give, and you really want to not be here, then you can go. Yeah, bro, finish the same as you're saying. I f nigga, it's kids involved now, bro. I wasn't okay. moving like this, so okay. you, bro. I was so laying you, I was, I was laying you, I was laying you, I was laying you, I was laying you, I was you, like, for real, respectfully, like, you being disrespectful. If you came here for a conversation, have a conversation. If you want to go, then you more than welcome. I just wanted to make sure we keep the peace, but if you want to sit here and have that energy towards me, they have that energy, bro. Like, like if you really want to go, then go. There was no reason for you to pull up. Hey bro, finish, finish with So let me don't, 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 don't pick up your phone and try to call. It. Like that's magic. I pick up a phone call, bro. It's a lot of things that's more important than having this conversation. The only reason why I'm doing this is just for the sake of the kids, not for Okay, you, so if it's for the sake of the kids, then talk. That's the fact. That's so, the fact. So, like I was saying, you came and you had a camera and you made it your business to say whatever you had to say to her. And make her cry on camera. And this, make her cry on camera. Have, her mother made her cry on camera. No, you because the way you've been acting no, like a fucking burden on sister. Absolutely not. You made her you, cry on camera. You did this. You did this, and you put her online that way. You put her online that way. Yeah, bro. We pranked the Vani and said we was breaking up. She cried on camera already. And then what? We stood together, and she was still there. It was a prank. All right, so There's we can still. We don't gotta. We don't gotta so, be together, don't but she don't have to see us argue either. We don't gotta be together, but she don't have to see us argue either. Okay. I could have no, no, no. The reason I was, I was gonna, I, I'm gonna let you. I was, I was trying to explain to Vonnie like, yo, listen, Big Jeremy is not gonna be here. As of that, you know, waking up to y'all, you know, taking y'all to school and things like that. I couldn't even say what I wanted. I, I couldn't respectfully. I couldn't even do that, bro. There was because no she would have asked for me, yo, where's Big Jeremy in the mornings? Where's Big Jeremy? My Big Jeremy, I take her. Where's Big? Is he coming? Is he in the gym? Is he? So I'm gonna have him. I want my my conversation. Explain that respectfully. But so my thing is. Why did you have to have this conversation on camera and put her on YouTube that way? Why? What is because the point? For one, I get for it. One. Everybody knows you're in their no, live no, and stuff. No, but she some loves things YouTube. do not have to be recorded. Just like right now, you're not recording right now. So why does why does certain? I things can't record be this shit because I don't want to. I don't want your bird ass on my channel no more, bro. And the only reason why that shit is young more jazz is because I got five more days to change the name. Cause you know, with, with YouTube, I can only change the name once a month. That shit would have been fucking changed. So I can't fucking wait. I'm tired of Young Moon and Jazz. No Young Moon and Jazz, bro. But like I said, the reason why is because Avani loves YouTube. You feel me? And YouTube love Avani. You feel me? And I didn't. I, I did not. I did not think that she was gonna have that reaction. And I feel like the reason why she started crying is because you made her cry. Yeah. Because so I was doing it. I, I was doing it. Because you were I was telling doing her it. that you're not gonna be around. You're not gonna take her to school and all of this stuff. No, that's not why she was crying. She's I was doing. Crying. I didn't even get the time to tell her that, bro. Regardless of the situation, I could have approached the situation differently, but I was in my feelings more so. I, I just feel like you didn't have to have that conversation on camera. I, I, once I saw the camera, it's like, all right, content, content, content. And I feel like a lot of what you do is for content. And that's just how I feel personally. So yeah, I could have had a different reaction. You know, I'm thinking about it later. And yeah, I could have had a different reaction. But 
There are people who agree with me. Like, you do not have to have a camera on and you do not have to put her I don't on care about her. kids. I don't read comments. I don't give a fuck about kids. I'm I young moo. I've been doing this shit for years, it's bro. Not, respectfully. Bro, you talking about kids. I don't know. No, I'm it's talking about kids on YouTube. I don't care about kids. I don't care what the fuck you guys say. I don't what, what I'm saying is, I could have reacted differently. I could have. 100% you could have reacted. Yeah, I could have. You and know what you could have did? I would have I I recorded and you content. Came with no, I, camera. no I, I see, look, this, if, so if you fucked the way. If you fucked the way. No, if you, you fucked the way. If you fucked the way about the situation, at the end of the day, it's your daughter, bro. If you didn't want me to post you for me, all right, cool. But you, you know what you could have did? You, you no, you you know, you came off nasty. What you could have did was, yo, can I talk to you for a second? Away from Vani? What's going on? Yo, if you don't mind, you know, I don't want it. I, 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 I'd have been like, all right, bad shit anymore. But the way I seen it as, you was just on some bitter shit. So I'm like, I right, fuck it. Nigga, I will delete that. I will delete this video right now. That shit is nothing to me, bro. Okay, so do you. That shit is not to me, bro. I could delete the video. That shit is nothing. But the reason why is because I'm like, I right, she on some bit ass shit. You ain't you ain't you ain't dress it on something. And then, and then when I was having the comments, you sitting on the couch. If you seen I was already vlogging this shit. You seen I was vlogging when I pulled up to the crib. I was already It was none of that. I was already it was on the couch before you came. I deleted so. I yo bro. This is how, like, this is the reason why. This is how you know I don't give a fuck about no content. The whole Young Moo channel, I deleted that shit. You put up all our pranks, gone, nigga. Go, everything, I don't give a fuck about no clout, no content, no none of that. No, none of that. I don't give a fuck. So if you don't care about Everything you is to... gone, bro. I, I, I am who I see what I am, bro. Is, is I, bro, I, 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 I walk into situations. I walk in, I'm like, because they, I walk into situations and people lives and I build them up respectfully. Anybody that's been around me, bro, I build them up. We definitely build each other up for a fact. Yeah, bro, when you met me, when you, no, 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 for a fact. I said, at, at the end of the day, if I'm dealing with a female, bro, our job is to make sure you feel me that we build each other up for, for a fact. Mm -hmm. But when you met me, I was already in a situation, bro. I was already a nigga that was already on YouTube. To, I might not have been posted, but I was already nigga against stop. I, I had I had shit going for myself. So when I came back on YouTube, it was oh my god, the moves on. But what I did, I'm like, alright, now nah, this girl got a vibe. Let me put her on. Let me teach her the game. Let me teach her how to do pranks. Let me teach her about cameras. Let me teach her how to edit. Let me teach her about thumbna thumbnails. Let me teach her how to do everything. And what I did, nigga, now you acting an ass. Once we not in a place no more on fucking YouTube, the same way all these other bird ass bitches did. Once I left the asses, facts, for one, for one, facts, nigga, facts. Like but it's cool though, bro. Because for one, I didn't act the eyes. I just did it's a cool. prank on you. Whoop de doo. Whoop -de -doo. Like I'm a man, I did nigga. A prank I get it regardless. And then for the next video, what I did, I just it, I about that, bro. Questions. I don't care about that. So no, I'm not acting an ass. I, I did videos. Acting an ass though. I did videos for girls. I didn't bring up your name. Yes, you did. I did videos with girls. You did bring up my name. You're talking about. I ain't cool with cause you pranking a nigga like me, bro. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? I did I videos with. You after. I did videos with girls. Right. I did videos with girls. I was vibing. I was chilling. I was mm -hmm. doing this. Right. And you've been talking Nick. girls. And you've been entertaining girls. All right. That's whatever the fuck that is, bro. Okay, you can think what you so want to think. I'm, I, I'm not no Chris. I'm not no Chris. I'm not no Chris sales, nigga. I don't got to use you for clickbait. I don't got to do none of that. Nigga. I'm that not, nigga, this nigga. This nigga. I'm from the Bronx, this nigga. This Six started in Morris. It's not supposed to be about this. It's not supposed to be about this. It's not supposed to be about this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Yeah, right. It's not supposed to be about that. Whatever you feel, whatever you feel, right? You feel like you're not... You're not for content. You feel like you know you build, you build everything. All right, cool. No, we no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm not taking. I'm not taking. No, no, no. no. One thing I'm gonna never do is take credit from other, for me, from you or whoever. As a unit, me, you, Dawn, Br, everybody that's been a part of the Young Moon channel before I did delete that shit. Everybody, bro, took credit into that shit. But what y'all niggas gotta understand is this, bro. I set the the fucking. I set the blueprint. I showed niggas everything, bro. You feel me? Respectfully. But I didn't do it by myself. But I I paved the way for everybody to be better than me, bro. I know what it, what it felt like to get 100K. I had that shit deleted. 120K, bro. I know what it felt like to have that shit, everything gone. You feel me? But I got the knowledge. You feel me? Just the fact that if, 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 I, if I had a five, uh, if, I, if I got five more people, it could be girls and niggas. And I paved the way for them. And, and I showed them certain things. I, I want niggas to be better. I want niggas to facts. When you got on YouTube, your energy was low. I'm like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You gotta put your energy. Nigga, the reason they told me, oh, oh yeah, you just using jealous. I don't listen, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't check DMs. I don't check comments. I don't check none of that, bro. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, when we first started this YouTube shit, you being around me, you had to like, ah, nah, I got matches left. Let me, ha ha, ha. You throwing, you doing all that. You, you I've been fucking get, getting hit for a year now, bro. But I ate them shits because I know what this shit come with. So I don't know you talking about old oh, niggas. You posted on your on your on your on your Instagram. Oh, clout this and clout. 
I don't need no fucking clout from you. You got like you did your, your Instagram is I you didn't even want to partake in Instagram. I say yo bro, make a grand. Make a fucking grand. Once I made a grand, I'm tagging you. I when you met me, I already had a following. So how the fuck I'm getting caught from you? When I like, so all that story shit you posting up, and I'm referring to shit you posted yesterday, cause I seen that shit. Yeah, because you came in with a camera. When you met me, I had a fucking camera, bro. No matter if I remember, I didn't have a camera. And I didn't say nothing about But when you met me, I was on the gram. When you met me, I was. I said, I niggas, I don't say clout. I said content. Yes, bro. When you met me, I was even if it was so I any type of clout. When you met me, I was a content creator. This shit, that's how I understand, bro. I can't meet a stripper, right? And then when we break up, I get mad because the bitch go back to stripping. I'm a content nigga. This is what I do. Since 2017, nigga, when I was with that, when, when, I, when I was with that stupid bitch, since 2017, I've been a content creator, nigga. Before Casanet, before Duke, before all of these niggas, I was young fucking move, bro. I got, I had eight Instagrams deleted. I was at 100k on one, 30k on the other. My son page had 20k. I was a content creator, nigga, bro. Okay. So now when niggas step together, so you doing shit for content, nigga, duh. Fuck is you talk about, nigga? So it wasn't genuine. No, it was genuine. You just said duh. So let me ask you a question. Valentine's Day is coming up, right? My birthday coming up, right? So just because you would have had a camera out on my birthday, right? Because we was we was about to fly to Vegas together. I would have been like, yo, this shit not genuine because you got a, you got a camera. Why you can't do this? Fuck what you took. I would have been like, yo, bro, I, I appreciate you, my heart. All right, then. All right, then. That's my daughter. All right, then. It doesn't matter. No, don't don't say, con don't, don't, don't try to, okay, don't don't try to mix it. Certain things. Certain, no, now it's certain. certain now it's limits. Put online. There's certain things. Yo, how many fucking arguments we had? Nigga, this is like our fourth breakup on YouTube. This is like our fourth breakup on YouTube. This is like our fourth breakup on YouTube. Look, our fourth, so where they think this shit fake, now niggas don't think it's fake because I deleted the whole fucking account. I was tired of niggas because at the end of the day, bro, my 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 my, rep my, rep my reputation means more than any of this shit. So I said, you know what? They think this shit fake. I bet. Dilly, nigga. Facts. Facts. Dilly, nigga. Now what? Now it's fake. Anyways, now it's fake. I'm, now it's fake. Smart. Nothing. That's cool. That's whatever. That's how you Nothing. feel. If you want to be in a kid's life, because this is what you're really here for. Like, this is what I was really here to talk about. I really don't care about all the extra shit. If you want to be in a kid's life, you want to see them, you want to take them places, you want to, you know, be there for them, you could, you know, put your phone down because I'm speaking and you being disrespectful. Because you don't, you don't understand. Not, That's what I'm saying. Not, Bye, it's bro. cool. Like, all of that extra, like, it's, it's cool, whatever. We don't have, we don't have that, that conversation. What I'm saying is, you want to be in a kid's life, right? I'm going to buy them cell phones. We don't even got to each other. You want to be in their life, right? Yes. You want to see them when you want to You want to see, see my son, right? Nah, because you you, you making this shit up one way shit. You I got a son too. Papa, yeah, jamming out for you. You did not let me finish talking. No, no, but you problem. saying the kids. You 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 talking about me and your kids' life. I don't hear you, you saying nothing. We ain't bro, we ain't talk, we ain't talking about my son at home. Bro, you didn't even let me get to that. No, but like, you you're saying not that. Me no, 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 because no, you on some one side of shit. You want to be in the kids' life, right? You want to be in the you. What about you want to be in the? I want to. I want no, 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 no. If you would have said that after I finished talking, no, 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 I can't. So why my son can go first? Yo, I want to be in your kid's life, and don't you want to be in my kid's life? No, bro, come on, bro, but I... That's not how I was saying it. You, can I finish? All right, bro. Can I finish what I was saying? All right, bro. You want to be in the kid's life, right? All right, bro. Talk, right? talk. Don't, you want to see them when you want to see them, right? Yes or no? Like, answer the question. Bro, you know... Come on, bro. I don't got to answer stupid-ass questions, bro. I don't got to answer questions, but I don't got to answer questions. I don't have to answer them type of questions. You know the answer to the questions. You what you want me to say? Yeah. You know the answer. At the world, know the answer to the questions. Avani's on my story right now. Nigga, I post up. Go to my Instagram. Like, come on. You asking these questions, bro. Like, you know the answer to these questions, bro. You want you thought you was going to come over here. You going to have a peaceful conversation after you fucking kicked me out yesterday, bro. Like, come on. After everything I've done for niggas in this crib, protected and provided, I've dealt with shit with your baby father. Now you want to go back to this stupid ass. It's, but it's for me. I charge it to the game. First of all, for one, I charge it to the game, bro. Stop saying I'm going back to him. Nobody's going back to him. I would never go back to my baby. We made a whole YouTube video on that couch yeah, right there. Because you, you pissed me off. When I saw you was DMing them girls, and you was talking to those girls, you was doing all of this stuff, and I see you entertaining, and you doing all this extra shit. Yeah, so now I'm telling you, yeah, I'm going to get back with my baby so father to get you mad. So you, what type of, we be in high school? The it fuck? doesn't matter. We in high school care. now? No. So you gave this nigga five seconds of fame. How I give him? I didn't give him nothing. 
First of is all, it, like is, I said, you was doing what you was doing, so I'm like, all right, how can I get him mad? Boom, got you mad. That's, that's that really immature that's shit. We too grown they, for that, my Have you seen him grown. with me? Have you seen him around me? We too grown. I don't know what the fuck no, you be doing. So don't. I what happened when you had the seat to one? You had a seat to one. What, so what happened then? I went out with my girls. Now nah, niggas is going out with their girls. Yeah. That's I the only thing y'all girls. girls resort to, bro. It's going out, man. Let me find a moment. Let's I went out one time, and I'm still... Look at me, in a house. What are you talking about? Yeah, but you ain't never go out with me. Yes, I did. No, you ain't never... No, where there was... Yo, I would love for you to come to me and be like, yo. At the time, yo, babe, I'm about to go with my girls. I hear, here go a bang, have fun, got my face. You ain't never go out. You ain't never go out. You in the now, niggas I are single. I did go out. I was did I time. go out every day? Every that was one time. I gave you money. I was one okay, time. Okay, then. So you can't say I'm not going to, like, you make no sense. Now, after a breakup, you want to go out. Okay. Okay. And? Like, your point is what? What's your point? Because, like, I, I know what y'all Like bro. I said, I'm, I'm smarter than the I family. said the baby father thing to get you mad. I don't understand how you didn't that. get that. Because I don't care because about shit like that. I charge it. Shit that I said that to get you mad. I charge so, it to the game. Nothing get me mad, bro. I charge it to the game. Charges like, you game. think I'm going to get mad for that little five foot four nigga, bro? You just mentioned it. Five foot four? You just mentioned it. That's I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Nigga don't got see. nothing on me, bro, at all, bro. I don't even hate on it. I don't, I don't even talk. I don't even about talk about niggas, bro. You know, personally, I've been stopped talking about that. I don't even talk. I at him. I don't nothing. I don't talk about none of that. And you know that 100%, bro. I don't know. Uh, I got um, bigger problems. But to, for the fact that you want to use, I'm not even going to say big. You want to use exes to try to get a nigga mad and all that other shit, bro. It shows the type of person you are and shows your characteristics. But like I said, bro, I have no problem yeah, it's with you. Cool. Yeah, I don't have no problem with you, you either. You feel me? All right, so we could, I mean. There's no beef here. I don't got no issue with you. I just feel like, you know, we need to leave the kids out of this situation. They don't have to know shit that we going through. I agree. So when I want to see Papa, you know, I'll hit you up. You want to see the kids. It's that simple. We don't have to talk. We don't have to communicate. That's, That's communicating, it. but. We don't have to. You know what I mean. We don't have to talk about, about other though. things. I already didn't say that. That's communicating. Alright, yeah. Alright. I would say bye to them and say oh, something to them, but I wouldn't want to hurt their feelings, you know, because Avani did have a lot. You know, she was dealing with a lot yesterday, so I wouldn't want to, you know what I mean? So when I do come the next time, I'll be picking them up, you know, and doing something with them pop But I hope you do enjoy the rest of the day, though. Alright, you can give me a hug or something. Handshake. So look, this is see you trying to confuse. You want to get a hug, hand. You want to do the old handshake. No, nah, bro. Just a regular handshake. Nah, that's no. Like we just gonna communicate about them. Like we for me, uh, about the kids. There's no hugs, no handshake, no none of that, bro. Like listen, bro. Like I stay on business. Like me, bro. Handshake. No, no hard feelings. No none of that. But this is the type of you for me. I'm not gonna hug because hugs lead to other things. Other things leads to more drama. All right, bro. Seriously, babe. Appreciate you for inviting me over. Thank you for the opportunity. <sighs> okay, y'all. So y'all see how that conversation went. Um, I don't feel like it went well at all, honestly, but you know, I don't feel like I really got a chance to really say what I really wanted to say. I don't know, he kind of made it about him and I don't know how y'all feel. Like, let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, like I said, this wasn't like a, supposed to be a conversation for us to get back together or nothing. It was just supposed to be a conversation, you know, to keep the peace, but I don't feel like it went well i just i don't know it's just it's this is a lot you know we have a lot of history together and for him to say i didn't mention his son is like bro i was just like i was literally getting there and yeah i see that i mentioned him when i was making the intro to this video say i know i care about his son too so for him to do that like like i don't understand i don't understand what like his energy is mad hostile and stuff and he's saying like i kicked him out and stuff i did not kick him out it was not like that it was because he had the camera on he had the camera on i didn't want him to have the camera on you know i didn't you know he made my daughter cry and like that's my child you feel me i'm a mother at the end of the day regardless of youtube regardless of anything that's my daughter and you made her cry online and you still decided to post it after i told you i didn't want you to post it so yeah it was for content and you could see when he said it sat here right here said duh 
when I say you did for content, he's like, duh, like, you feel me? So clearly you did do it for content. So don't contradict yourself and say that, oh, you know, everything you do is for content and then say that it's gen like it's, it's, it's one or the other. And obviously it was for content, but at the end of the day, I could have reacted a different way and I could have, you know, put him to the side and, you know, told him like, you know, I'm not feeling the camera. But like I said, I'm a, I'm a woman and my feelings was evolved. And at the end of the day, you still posted that video with my daughter crying and now everybody looking at me like I'm an enemy. I'm not an enemy. That's my child. Y'all got me fucked up. Like, that's my kid. But, um, I don't know. The conversation didn't go too well and it got me feeling sad. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel sad right now. I just feel like, I don't know. Our communication is real off. Like, I, we not communicating well. This conversation didn't go the way I would have hoped, but you know, it is what it is. People grow apart. I feel like he could have been a little bit more respectful because, you know, like he was being a little bit disrespectful, disrespectful, putting out his phone and stuff. Like, if we're going to have a conversation, let's have a conversation. Don't, don't be that way. Don't overpower me when I'm talking. Like, he kept overpowering me, you see. Like, that I barely got to speak. And, and every time he overpowered me, I lost my train of thought. I ain't even, like, I feel like I didn't get what I really wanted to say off my chest. But it is what it is. He don't know that the camera was hidden and stuff and he he gonna see this video now but like he gonna see this video when it drops and stuff but like i don't feel like i've been acting a fool online either like i really haven't like he the one who doing content with these girls and i don't know trying to do i don't know i don't know i just feel like he did a lot he did a lot and he's making now he's trying to paint me to be the enemy and i feel like since since i called him over Maybe he feel like the ball is in his court now. So the, the ball is in his court and that's not the case at all. You know, like it wasn't really, it wasn't supposed to be that, you know, like I just feel like we, I don't know, this, it's just so childish. We just grow apart. There's nothing for us to, there's nothing else more for us to talk about. There's nothing most to do at this point, you know, like I try to have a conversation, the conversation went left and I'm just over it at this point, you know. I love y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all could comment down your advice. Y'all could comment down your thoughts. Tell me if I'm wrong. Like, tell me if how I'm feeling is wrong. Tell me if y'all feel like Moon is right. I just need to know really from other people's perspective because I just feel like right now, I just feel, I really don't know how to feel right now, but I love y'all and yeah.